Good morning, good evening, whatever time you're watching this video. Uh, it's me, Michael Ray Haybauer, and I wanted to let you all know that I didn't leave you, um, but I have hit some turmoil, and I'm trying to deal with it. So let's talk about it for a few minutes, and then I'm going to get back to resting and updating and trying to fix my problems. But that being said, please hit that thumbs up, that like. Consider becoming a member of this channel. Um, for exclusive content, and if and when I go live, you guys will be here for that. Now, let's talk about what's been going on. It's been about a week or so or two weeks since I've done the Happy Alien podcast. Um, well, for people that tried to watch it, I've explained what's going on with that. I was trying to reformat and do a different things, and I was trying to use different technology and I was still having issues, whether it be with GPU, PC, graphics card, and the like. And um, so the other day, two days ago, I decided, and I was reading, trying to make my computer as good as possible for it being old age. And then I learned, you know, you need to download all the latest drivers, all the latest updates, all the latest firmware, and and the, the Windows updates, and blah, 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 so on and so forth. So I started doing that um, the other day. And after about like eight, nine hours of doing all that, trying to figure out what I needed updating, um, I went and I down my motherboard. It needed uh, a new BIOS because it was stuck on 1.1 1 .1 or something like that in my MSI motherboard from 2012. It was stuck on 1.2 or something like that of the BIOS. And there was a 5.1 version available from like 2014. So I followed the instructions, did what they said to do. And long story short, we don't need to talk about everything that happened. But they made me download some Dragon Control Center after everything was updated. And it said, hey, you need to update your BIOS to this version. Download this version, restart your computer, stick it on a USB stick, format it, blah, blah, blah. And I did that, and then I started the Dragon Live update from the BIOS. Then it, it opened up Windows, and then the Dragon Control Center said, all right, we're ready to update your BIOS. And I clicked it, and it said, dee, 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 updating. Then it said, we need to reboot your computer for the BIOS update to take effect. And... Let's, it'll reboot in like five or ten seconds. Then it, it, it came on power, but nothing came on screen. It was all black. I didn't hear any beeps, any error messages, or whatever. And BIOS didn't come up. Nothing was on screen. So I was afraid I fried my motherboard, which I still think I might have. But now I went into all the scenarios of resetting the CMOS, CMNOS, um, changing the jumpers, taking out the graphics card, the RAM, the putting a screwdriver, changing the jumpers, resetting the CMOS, you know, unplugging it, blah, blah, blah. And it was just starting for like 45 seconds, meaning power, lights on the tower and everything. But nothing on screen. I changed the cables, nothing on screen. And then what it ended up happening is it's not fixed yet, but what here's the situation. It turns on the power, you see the lights light up, and you hear no beeps. If it's a graphics card error, a RAM error, a hard drive error, you would normally hear beep or beep beep or beep beep beep. And then when it would normally load the BIOS correctly, I would hear a quick little dee dee. And then, you know, everything would come on screen. None of that's happening. It's turning on the power, everything, no beeps. Then it lasts for about a minute. Then it shuts off by itself, restarts again. Then about five or six or seven seconds later, it shuts off, starts again, and it does that cycle. And then after I reset CMOS and this and that and check, checked RAM cards and everything, well, I got it where it turns on and it's running and it doesn't restart. 
but it just loads and nothing comes on screen. That's where I'm at. My computer is just sitting out there all open. I don't know if I need to buy another motherboard. If I literally fried it, I'm testing everything and nothing seems to be working. And I'm giving a, I'm getting a lot of good advice from you guys online. Um, and I'm trying it all. But I don't have any money to buy a new motherboard. And then again, if the motherboard is officially fried, because I still don't know the truth if it is fried, I am keep doing testing scenarios. I keep trying to restart the BIOS. Um, but nothing comes up on screen. You know, changing the cables. Again, I just got to find the right combination. But I think it's working because I see the lights on the computer, you know, turn green. But nothing comes on screen, no matter what cables, what RAM slots I use. I change or jump the CMOS. Nothing comes on screen. Maybe the graphics card is busted. Uh, but you would think if there was a graphics card issue, I would hear when it would start and turn on, I would hear a beep, 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 or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, guys, but I don't have no money to replace the motherboard with a newer one because if you replace it with a newer one, you have to get one that fits all the components that you already have. Then you're going to have to buy the newest RAM and a, a better processor. And people are telling me, well, if your motherboard is fried, get the same motherboard. It's around 60 to 100 bucks. But then again, that motherboard and that processor, the i5-2500, was with 16 gigs of RAM and one gigabyte of DD, not DDR, of graphics memory. It still wasn't working that correctly whenever I would live stream. You guys saw all the problems. So again, why would I go out and buy the same motherboard and not try to upgrade the entire computer. But if you upgrade it to all the you know newest processor and RAM and a newer motherboard, that's going to cost me $500 to $800 for all those little components. And then you still got to hope that the drivers and everything works and that I don't possibly have to restart Windows on the hard drive, you know, erase everything I got going. And all my hard drives with my personal information are in that computer that loads up with that computer. And I can't really pull them out. I don't have a lot of boxes where you can pull out the hard drive, stick it in, and then stick it in another computer because I really don't have another computer. So it's just, it hurts when, when you try to do something to, to make your life better or make, you know, your streams or your podcast or whatever better. And then everything kind of goes wrong, you know? Um and around that time, again, I, I wasn't getting a lot of views on the podcast. Then YouTube would flag every podcast and it would basically make no money. Except if I get super chat donations from you guys, which, you know, doesn't come in a lot. But I still thank you for everything. And trying to update my computer seems like it might have broken it. Um, so I'm just really disheartened. And that puts a lot of stress on me. Plus the weather's changing. I haven't been feeling so great. I am no longer on my metformin medicine because I went to the emergency room like about a week and a half ago and um, I got some gut issues and they want to take a lot of tests, but I don't have a car. You know, I have to travel on the bus and when my health is not good, like I have no energy. I think I have chronic fatigue or something, you know, plus a lot of other things. I, it's just pretty scary sometimes to feel this way. Then to have, you know, with the little bit of energy I do have for three or four or five hours a day, then to have all this other stuff go wrong. And now my arm is really hurting. You can see it's all red and swollen because I've been picking up the computer, putting in motherboards, and I've been moving my wrist more than I ever really do and, and moving my arms. And then stress has been all over my body, my blood pressure, and... I just wanted to say I'm alive. Um, it's good for me. I'm getting a little bit of exercise. I'm walking around, picking up things, cleaning things, doing so much, pulling boxes out of my little, you know, hallway cupboards. And but it's a little too much, and I'm not, I'm not dealing with it so well. 
and I need to make money, I need to make videos, and I need to live stream and do something, you know, um, so I don't know how I'm going to do that. I know I can do some stuff on my phone. This is a refurbished phone and it has audio issues, but I got that little microphone. But for, for maybe a good while, guys, a couple weeks or three weeks until I can really figure out what I'm going to do with um, money, the motherboard, that computer. You guys are probably going to have to um, get me live streaming on my phone from the apartment because I can connect the Wi-Fi. If I go outside and try to live stream, it uses my data. And I only have like a one gigabyte data plan because my phone is like $17 a month. So I think I got a, a gig and a half of data. So you can't really live stream from the outside um, unless it's connected to Wi-Fi. So, but I do have an all-in-one desktop from 2000. My computer was built in like 2012 with a few parts from like 2013. So it's that old. Um, the processor is an i5-2500, four core. Um, and then the MSI P67A dash C43. That's my motherboard. So if you guys want to look into that and you know, help me out with some information, but I've been reading and people have been helping me and I can't seem to get it, anything to load on screen. But at least it's running without going off and on, off and on. It's running. But I just don't know if anything's going on with the BIOS or anything because I see nothing on screen. And um, I've tried different monitors. I have another monitor. and I've tried it all. But I have an all-in-one desktop that was like made in 2010 or 11 from Sony. And I started to update that because I have um, to go on websites sometimes. And if anything, buy, if anybody buys like something from my merchandise store, I need to connect to my printer to, to print, you know, like shipping labels and stuff like that. So I'm hooking up the all-in-one desktop. And then I also have a really small, and I just pulled it out, a Lenovo. I think it's called a Lenovo Q. Like a little little square little box. It has a NVIDIA Ion. And it has, I think, Windows 9 or 10 on it. I'm updating it right now. But I pulled out that little computer that I had as well. They're not very powerful. They can't do a lot. Um, they got HD graphics at most, like 1920 or whatever, or 720. And um, But at least I can maybe get online, look at Facebook, do some other things, print some labels. Um, and I don't know, maybe with the all-in-one desktop, because I have live, live streamed from that all-in-one desktop before like watching a Raider game since it's closer to the TV instead of the desk area. I'm going to try to figure out a way to live stream through the all-in-one desktop in the coming weeks, um, as well as try to fix the computer if I can. And so, look, I don't know. I just wanted to give you guys the update and, and be as honest with I can, as I can with you guys. Um, thank you guys for being in my life listening to everything I have to say, which is all the time. I know you want fun, excitement, vlogs, cooking, excited Michael. But man, sometimes life is so tough and so hard um, for people with whatever my issues are. And it doesn't seem to get easier sometimes. But I try to stay positive through all this adversity. And I still got to figure out a way to make money to pay my, my bills because I ain't doing so well in that area. Um, so I need the computer. I need to live stream a little bit, make a few videos to just supplement any bit of income. So if you guys feel the need, if you're available to, there is my Venmo information down below. There is my PayPal. Um, I do have memberships on this channel. And if you'd like to pick something up from the merchandise store or order a cameo, 
where I'll be excited <laughs> and try to make it the best cameo shout out for you guys. And I think it's fifty dollars this week because it's a St. Patrick's Day special. So if you guys want to pick something up like that, I'd appreciate it. That or you know send me a donation or whatever you can. You don't have to. You don't owe me anything. I owe you guys the world. But um, that's my situation, and I'm probably gonna have to buy the the same motherboard again, so it'll work with all the components. But I'm going to have to order like a refurbished one and hope that it works. And then it's going to be like 50 to 100 bucks, whatever the price may be. And I really can't find that extra 50 to 100 bucks right now because I need all that to pay every bill. And it's tough. It's tough. All right. But I'm going to leave it with a beautiful message. I love you guys. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you for just watching my videos. And if you stayed this long, right? Everything going to be all right. Everything going to be okay in the chat room below. And then I'll enter you in to a gift sometime soon to win something from my merchandise store. All right, guys. I just wanted to give you the update. Um, thank you. God bless. Stay healthy. Stay happy. <sighs> stay poised. Stay calm. And stay relaxed instead of stressed. Love you.